Hey, Brian from Snake Bites here. You know what? We're going to go ahead and talk about genetics today. We're going to use ball pythons as an example because they're a really polymorphic animal. And you know what? We're going to put my crew to the test with a little quiz on genetics. You're watching Snake Bites. All right, so what we have here is a pinstripe ball python. Now, this is one of the most simple genetic animals we work with. It's called a codominant. If you take a pinstripe ball python and breed it to a normal ball python, right off the bat, 50% of the babies are gonna turn out pinstripe and 50% are gonna turn out normal on average. Pretty much as simple as you get. Okay, the question is, how do you make a pinstripe ball python? And to be honest with you, I'm not 100% sure. I think the best thing to do would probably be to either ask Brian how he does it or breed an exanthic to a, uh, an albino. So what we have here is a bumblebee ball python. So this is a double codominant morph. If you breed a spider ball python to a pastel ball python, out of every four eggs, you're gonna get one bumblebee, a pastel, and a spider, and a normal on average. How would I make a bumblebee ball python? I Assume you put a spider ball python and a pastel together and that would create a bumblebee. Alright, so what we got here is a spinner blast. This is actually a triple codominant animal. It actually has three morphs in it. It's got pastel, it's got spider, and it's got pinstripe. Now how we produce this is by breeding a pastel pinstripe, which we call a lemon blast, to a spider ball python. What you're going to get in that breeding is a potpourri of stuff. You're going to get normals, you're going to get pastels, you're going to get spiders, pinstripes, bumblebees, lemon blast, and then you're going to get the, the really good jewel here, which is a spinner blast. How would I make a spinner blast python? Well, first off, I think I'd need to grow a really long ponytail and become Brian Barcheck because he's probably the only one in this room knows how to do it. So what we have here is actually a simple recessive morph. This is called a piebald ball python, one of the coolest snakes that we work with. Now, you know, to produce a simple recessive animal, you have to breed that to a normal, and you'll get all normal-looking babies, but they'll all be carrying the trait for that particular simple recessive. Now, what you do is you raise those up and breed them back to the simple recessive, and 50% of the babies will come out looking piebald or whatever that simple recessive morph is. How do I make a pied ball python? Let's see, um, that's, that's, a, that's a difficult one. I would probably just uh, save up a lot of money and then buy a couple pied balls from Brian, preferably a male and a female, and uh, breed them together. Then I would get some pieds. That would probably be the easiest way to go about it because I have no clue how to get a pied ball. So what we have here is actually a caramel albino pinstripe. This is both codominant and recessive. The caramel albino is the recessive and the pinstripe is the codominant. What you need to do is breed the caramel albino to a pinstripe. About half the babies are going to come out pinstripe, het for caramel albino. You need to then raise those up, breed them back to a caramel albino, and about 25% of the babies are going to come out like this, caramel albino pinstripe. I would make a caramel pinstripe ball by breeding a male caramel to a female pinstripe, which is het for caramel. That's how you get a caramel pinstripe. Ask anybody. I'm right. Suckers, you thought you could get me, didn't you? Didn't you? Turn it off. Cut. So what's the deal? You freaking cheated? Trav told me answer the question. Bile. That's bull. You know John wouldn't right, know that. This Kluber guy isn't gonna know a damn thing about ball pythons unless he asks him, buddy. Ask him another one. All right. Ask him another finger. one. Put him on the spot. How do you get a killer blast? Come on. A killer Look, blast? Seniority. Yeah, come on. Would be a spinner blast to a Mojave male. <laughs> <laughs> yes! What is it? That's not, that's <laughs> I tell you, it was close. <laughs> it was a spinner blast to a pastel. It's a super pastel spinner blast. Ask him another one. All right. How here. I'm a colubrid person. Do a colubrid. A colubrid? Okay. How do you get a caramel albino hog nose? Karma albino hog nose would be a regular hog to a xanic female. <laughs> double hat and breed it back to a man. Kluber guy doesn't even know about colubrids. Listen, all I need to know how to do is pick <laughs> up, okay? I can do that. If I can do that, I'm all set. You are great. 
Okay, there's some genetics for you. I hope you guys learned some stuff. And you know what? I hope you got to know my crew a little bit. If you like that, you got to tune in next week because we're going to go ahead and take some viewer questions and we're going to go ahead and ask them so you get to know them even more. So tune in next week to Snake Bites. Yeah.